रोज एक सवाल सवाल सॉल्व करने के बाद वो बेल आइकन पे क्लिक कर देना रोज सवाल का नोटिफिकेशन तुम्हें मेल बॉक्स में आ जाएगा ओके लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन बी टू पॉज द वीडियो फॉर नाउ एंड स्टार्ट डूइंग इट वंस योर सेल्फ राइट ऑल राइट सो लेट्स ट्राई एंड सॉल्व इट The value of the sum seven into eleven, eleven into fifteen, fifteen into nine. So whenever we have something like this, what we have to do is first thing. So we have. To, I'm just telling about the concept. Okay. So what we have to do in a question like this is you have to find out the sum. You have to take the general term. You have to express general term of this, this whole expression. So what's the general term? So, if you see the general term represented by T n, can be written as four n. So, I think this can be written as. So, let's say. Uh, this is seven, and this is eleven. So, this is. Four uh, n plus three. Into. Four n. So rather than taking it, uh, so this number, if you see, seven, eleven, fifteen. Common difference is four. The common difference is four. So it can be written as three n plus four. First term can be written as three n plus four into three n plus eight. Right? Can write it this way. Three n plus four into three n plus eight. You can test it if it's apl applicable or not. If you put n is equal to one here, this number becomes seven and this number becomes eleven. So seven into eleven. If you put n is equal to two here, then this does not very satisfy. So let's reverse it. Let's reverse it. Let's make it four n plus three. So for n is equal to one. This is seven, and into the next one, which is four n plus seven. So for n is equal to one, this is seven, and n is equal to one, this is eleven. For n is equal to two, this is eleven. N is equal to two, this is fifteen. Now, so this one fits perfectly. So now that we have found out the general term, okay, this this might take a little practice for you to perfect. However, you should check it after making it. You you can check. Whether it is satisfying or not. So this one is perfectly fitting. That's the general term of this function. So now four n square four n into so now we can open the brackets multiply four into four n is sixteen n square plus four into seven is twenty eight three into four is twelve so forty n plus twenty one. Now we have to take the sum of t n. From n is equal to one to what's this term? If you put four n plus three is equal to ninety five, four n becomes ninety two, so n becomes twenty three. So we have to sum it from n is equal to one to n is equal to twenty three. From one to twenty three, we have to sum this. Now, now just put it, put a sum here. So this becomes sixteen times sum of n square plus forty times sum of n. Plus twenty one times sum of one. Now this is part of the series. So the topic here is series. I I hope you all have revised it. If you have not, please revise it. As you can see that there is this question from this topic. Now sum of n square terms. Sum of n square terms is given as n into n plus one into two n plus one upon six. Forty into sum of n terms is n into n plus one by two. This you already know. And finally, sum of all terms here will be into n. Now, what we have to do is we don't have to. So now for n we have to put twenty three. We have to put n is equal to twenty three. And what we have to do is just check the last digit because all the last digits are different in the options. We don't need to solve it entirely. Okay, so. Here you can easily see that the last digit is zero. The last digit will be zero, so this will become twenty. So we don't need to solve this. The last digit is zero from here. 
ट्वेंटी वन इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री द लास्ट डिजिट इज थ्री फ्रॉम हियर नाउ दिस वन वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस इज एट एंड दिस इज थ्री सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस हियर वी हैव ट्वेंटी थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू फोर्टी सेवन राइट सो देन देन इफ यू सॉल्व दिस दिस बिकम्स एट टाइम्स एट इंटू एट इज लास्ट टर्म फोर फोर इंटू थ्री लास्ट टर्म टू टू इंटू सेवन लास्ट टर्म फोर सो थ्री प्लस फोर सो लास्ट डिजिट इज फोर लास्ट डिजिट इज जीरो लास्ट डिजिट इज थ्री सो द आंसर इज एंडिंग इन सेवन आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू दैट्स द फर्स्ट आंसर ऑप्शन इफ यू एक्चुअली सॉल्व इट कम्प्लीटली इट विल टेक यू मोर टाइम हाउ एवर इफ यू डोंट सॉल्व इट कम्प्लीटली यू कैन गेट टू द आंसर ऑप्शन क्विकली कंसिडरिंग द एग्जाम सिनारियो कंसिडरिंग द एग्जाम सिनारियो you can spare steps like this this was you know used here just to explain it to you otherwise in an exam i would not use this step i will straight on land from here to here and then from here to here and then using the last digit approach because the last digits are different i will solve it a question like this should take you somewhere around 30 to 40 seconds okay be a little quick in these questions because these questions are the easier ones and therefore you should move fast